Hi there. This video presentation focuses on what's involved in creating a forward framework for revitalising Laysan Town Centre. In particular, I'm going to talk on the subject of how we get organised, how we row in the same direction and how we get ready to change the town in the short term and for years to come. Throughout this presentation, on some of the slides, you'll see links to resources at the bottom of the page. Um, the link here takes you to a page of a whole collection of resources. So this is the key one to remember, but you'll see others throughout. On the um, resources page about revitalising Laysan Town Centre, you'll also see other connected background information referred to here and that will be useful for you in finding out more about what's involved. So pour yourself a drink if you haven't done already. The presentation will take around about 20 minutes. Um, and you can see here there's a link to resources on what's involved in creating a forward framework, part of um, national resources that we've put together on, an organ on behalf of an organisation called the Local Government Association and that we've been applying in towns throughout East Suffolk. This work in Leyston is a partnership led by East Suffolk Council um, and undertaken by ourselves at the People and Places Partnerships. And we do this in association with Leyston Business Association, the Town Council, the Community Land Trust and Leyston Together. This is the Revitalising Town Centre's handbook that we prepared nationally for the Local Government Association. If you use the link, it will take you through to the handbook, but also to the updated Revitalising Town Centre's toolkit on the Local Government Association's website, um, which provides up-to-date information on how to plan to revitalise town centres, taking account of the COVID-19 crisis. And this is links to resources on our website about reopening town centres. Um, we actually have a whole series of resources that we're adding to all the time on our Beyond COVID-19 pages of the website. So please do mind that information and keep up to date with this ever-changing picture. I'm going to pause at various points in this presentation just to give you a chance to reflect. Um, and if you're a member of an organisation in Leyston, um, I think it would be good that you share your views in your next meeting, your discussions, um, so that you can get a collective view um, on some of these points of reflection. And the first one really is saying, do we really need to pause to look at the impacts of COVID-19 on Leyston? Um, how and what do you think we might need to do to learn more about this and continue to track it? There are three broad stages to the work in Leyston in, in looking towards revitalising the town centre and creating a forward framework. And the first of these is gathering the evidence. I'm going to tell you a little about the survey work and some highlights from the out analysis of what we found out about the town. You can access the detailed report that runs to about 108 pages um, through the East Suffolk Means Business website at the address below. And just to say that the report includes details of 12 key performance indicators that we measure in towns around the country so that we can benchmark um, and set what's happening in Leyston in context. And we also, perhaps more importantly, more interestingly, interviewed users on street and online, a total of 238 town centres users. And we also went into every business in Leyston town centre and we had responses from over two thirds of those. So all that information is included in the report, but I'm also going to give you a reference where you can find a summary document. One of the first highlights I'm gonna draw out of the information to, sh to show how we need to focus on caring for looking forward um, at how the town develops and, and giving it a boost. This is data drawn from that survey of over two thirds of the businesses. And you can see that in, in the town, nearly a quarter of them, and this is pre-COVID-19, nearly a quarter of them are expecting their turnover to decrease in the year ahead. So that's a concern um, that, we, that we need to think about and address. We gathered information also on what business is like about being based in Leyston Town Centre. And you can see here the top 
eight of those factors. So local customers, they value um, the local customers. 75% uh, of the businesses see that as a real strength of the town. Businesses like the look of the town, they also value the potential for tourist customers. Um, the provision of cafes, pubs, restaurants, places where people can socialize and relax in the town center. Businesses were positive about how people get into the town, both in terms of car parking and public transport. It's an over affordable place to live. And just over half of the businesses were happy with the footfall, the number of people walking around Leiston Town Centre. What do customers like about using Leiston Town Centre? Where they very much value its convenience, 83% of users um, gave a high score to that. They think it's easy to walk around. They really like the high quality customer service that they get in the shops and also the access to other services, banks, public services, including health services, cash machine. They feel it's a safe place and also, um, which is unusual for towns nationally, customers also were very satisfied about the parking provided in Leicester. Because we're doing this work across 12 neighbouring towns in East Suffolk, we're able to make some comparisons across all the data gathered. And here I'm going to flag up two sets of information. Um, this is around customers' negative perceptions on retail. And if you look at the green bars in the chart for Leyston, you can see that generally customers are quite critical or their expectations are not being met in terms of the retail offer in the town. In contrast, if we look at what customers thought about some of the wider services that bring you into town, you can see that Leyson fares very well in comparison to other East Suffolk towns, and particularly in terms of access to services and leisure facilities, people who use the town are very satisfied um, with what it provides. In this part of the presentation, I'm going to focus on creating partnerships. How do we come together, as I say, to row in the same direction and effectively move forward to help improve the town? From our experience in working in towns across the country, we find this element is absolutely essential. You need to put together a strong town team. And we work with a process, this circular process of the F factors. And that process begins with the foundations which is what I've talked to you about, about gathering, gathering the evidence, understanding the issues so that we can focus on what we want to change. And the other aspects then are about working out the function of the organisation, what's its legal form, absolutely key thing, the people that come together to give their time to progress things, yes, money, and then writing down a plan, which also includes the actions, the things that we're looking to improve. This slide just shows some of the ways across the country that communities and their businesses come together to try and improve their town centre. There are no wrongs or rights. Um, you'll have to choose and we can help you do that, choose the right structure and that can change over time um, to, to help deliver improvements in Leyston Town Centre. That way of getting organised can be informal and become progressively more formalised. What I want to show here, though, is what is the partnership structure that's the basis um, in terms of what are the themes, what are the areas of work, what are the groups that people want to come together to make progress. And you can see there are three elements of this, the two bottom ones in the darker orange. I'm suggesting are the themes that we might want to focus on and bring people together to work around. And then the top thing is absolutely key is what I've been saying about the way the organisation works, the way it's coordinated, the way it communicates with groups across the towns, with partners and with the wider community to drive things forward. So as we start to look towards how we're going to plan to improve the town centre, I just want to reflect a little bit with you on this key group, this coordination and communication group that is going to drive progress forward over the current summer of the crisis that we're facing in COVID and longer term for two, three, five 
and maybe 10 years into the future. Yes, that's the kind of time scales that we're talking about to completely revitalize the town centre. I'm suggesting this is a small hands on group in a supporting role and its role is coordinating the activity and communicating. And I've got some suggestions on who, um, which organisations might be represented. So again, I'd be interested in your thoughts on this coordinating group. And if you can feed those through the organisations that are, you're attached to within Leyston, um, that will be really helpful. and will inform them um, and in terms help, help me in pulling together um, the way we're planning to work. In the last section of this presentation, I'm going to begin to talk a little bit about what's involved in turning around a town. So how we go about pulling people together to plan initially and then to project manage, to deliver things and then also to achieve change by influencing other partners. And a link here to resources around creating a forward framework using the example of Bungay and East Suffolk. Um, you can see um, we're a little bit ahead um, in terms of the process and the action planning process with them. And through this link, you can have a look at their plan, what's involved in it, and get a sense of, of what we're looking to put together for Leyston. I mentioned that there's a summary version of the report um, available on the resources page. This is the cover of it. I'm now going to just draw out some of the, the highlights from this document. Um, but by all means, take a look at it. It's, it's quite a short read. Um, it drills into some of the detail around what I've been talking, um, but it's very digestible um, and easy to read. And this, taken from that national guidance that I showed you, is our kind of checklist. Um, so something that as you're working to improve your town, you need to keep getting out this clipboard, whether virtually or actually for real, to say, how are we doing? And you can see a whole range of things that we need to think about to improve the town centre. Not all of these we will make progress on in the same way, um, but we're looking to turn those red and amber ticks to green and to make steady progress over the months and years ahead. The process of improving the town centre, as I said earlier, starts with understanding what the issues are. And here I've pulled together a quick summary of what the research, what the survey work told us are the things we should focus on in Leyston. And those are things that combine improving the place physically in the short term and in the long term, and then also boosting its identity, creating a stronger civic pride and getting people enjoying visiting and appreciating the businesses and the services that the town has to offer. And in focusing on those issues and trying to plan um, to make progress, what we want to look at when we're coming together in the groups is a combination of quick improvements that build confidence, um, show that we can deliver, and then creating lasting long-term change that may take uh, longer to put in place, we'll, but, but will it guarantee that those changes are here to last? And as well as the work within the town, there's also a whole series of support available from East Suffolk. Um, and you're participating a district wide network you, where you can learn and share experiences with other towns. Two of the things that you can hook into the moment in terms of the digital, there's a smart towns project. And then parallel to the review of the town centres, the council are also undertaking a review of its car parking to make it more flexible, more customer focused. Um, and that's something you'll see going on um, throughout towns in the district. So now I'm going to focus on those two themes, um, really with the emphasis on how we can come together um, so that we work together, we're involved in the right organisations, we get everybody rowing in the same direction, coordinated in their work. And the first of those themes is around the area of growth, around active travel, that's walking and cycling into the town, and then improving the look of the streets through streetscape enhancement. 
So I'm just going to reflect a little bit on some of those issues on those two bottom um, themes, um, which may become working groups, and to see how we want to get organised to deliver and to address the issues. So just reminding ourselves what some of the issues are, you can see that actually, to a large extent, that area of planning for the long term development in a pro very progressive way, that's been dealt with by the work that's been undertaken by the neighbourhood plan. And so part of the work going forward is to take what that neighbourhood plan group has done and documented in terms of the town centre, how we can help carry that forward and deliver it. And looking at the streetscape, the public realm, what we found from the survey is that unfortunately, Leyston has the most negative responses amongst these Suffolk towns. What the people who use the town think about its appearance and think about its cleanliness. They find it convenient, they find it, find it easy to walk around, um, but their perceptions of the place and what they're seeing, it, it would be good if we can look to improve that. Um, and maybe that will contribute to more people coming into the town and wandering around the town because we find the levels of footfall in the town are much lower than we'd expect for a town of its size, only 41% of the expected levels. And equally, people don't journey, the foot flow across the town is very patchy too. So another chance to pause here really, and to reflect on how are we going to get organized to drive forward that whole area of managing growth, active travel and enhancing the streetscape. And this is my suggestions on how that could be organised and how groups can come together and we can build on the existing activity through the neighbourhood plan group, through the community land trust that's already going on focusing on this. And again, what I'd be interested is in your thoughts on the role and representation of this group, um, which is about devising, managing and delivering change. That's the focus. We want to use this group making progress and improving the place and overseeing that work. In a similar way, I'm going to focus now on how you might want to get organised to deliver that second theme about the identity, the diversity and the digital development, the sort of softer work that's about the feel of the place. And this may be an area where we need some fresh blood, we need new people to come together, and we particularly need businesses involved in this work. So we've got a few things coming on that we've already mentioned. Um, businesses are declining in their turnover. Customers have a ne negative perception about the business mix. Um, and whether that's fair, fair or they're not aware of all the variety of businesses that are out there, um, that's something we can enhance by promotion. Um, and it's something that people using the town feel passionate about that they'd like to see improved. And this is existing customers' perceptions of the town. Um, they think it's friendly, but apart from friendly and potential, um, those words are not the words that we'd like to see when people are talking about our town centre. Dated, empty, tired, drab, poor. Um, if we came back and did this work in a couple of years time to ask people their perceptions, our challenge is we'd like to see many more positives so that people feel good about the town and it reflects the improvements that they've seen. And just to flag up here that even from those people that already use the town that we surveyed, there is an appetite to improve it digitally. And that's in terms of the infrastructure, things like improving the digital phone network and coverage, um, but also the information they can find out about the town. So whether that's click and collect online sales, um, websites about the town and its businesses and interacting with social media so they can find out about offers, activities, products in the shop. Um, there is an appetite for that work and it needs to be part of our planning going ahead. So again, you're getting used to this, but just to kind of pause, what are your reflections around this? And if you can feed them through, that would be great. Um, and who are the people? I've made some suggestions that this could involve 
the district council laced them together, the business group and people involved in events. But who are the people, specific businesses, people that have marketing and digital skills? How do we find new young blood, people that are willing to roll up their sleeves and help deliver change in this area of work? And then just lastly, to finish off, to capture where we're going, this is some thoughts on a Leyston mood board. So in terms of words, what are the goods words we'd like to see being used about the town centre in future? Or if you're more a visual person, what are the sorts of images that you'd like to think, this is where the town's going in future, this is what it'll be like. Um, I think this kind of mood, mood board, um, it's a good way of visualising so that we can work together and say, yep, that's what we're heading for. So again, I'd be interested to see um, what your image is and what the words about activities and the feel of the place and what you'd like to see happen. And that's it, really. Um, hope you've finished your drink. Um, I said it would be 20 minutes. It's just a little bit over. Um, so we're talking about that forward framework. And at the moment, it's how we build partnerships, bring people together. If we get that right, we've then got a solid formation to really make progress and change the town. As I said at the beginning, and to, and to wrap up, all of the resources to, to, to do with that work, the survey work, the summary document, and a copy of this presentation as a downloadable format with, with other links in it, that's all available at the link shown um, at the bottom of this page. So thank you for your attention.